Hi guys, my name is Jude from EasyTex. In this video, we're going to see how to repair a broken hard drive with beeping or clicking sounds in order to recover back the stored data and possibly continue to use it again. Here I have this broken hard drive from a laptop, so I'm going to connect it to my USB using this SATA adapter cable and then observe the sound it makes. In this situation, there are usually chances that your disk head has gotten stuck on the platter, so you need to manually relieve it in order to get it working again. Now, this process is definitely a last resort. Please ensure you've tried other possible fixes like checking that your connectors are properly hooked up, checking power supply and other software fixes you might find. And if you decide to try the fix in this video, then it's up to you to ensure you don't cause any damage to your disk or data. So first we are going to open up the disk and for that we'll be using a T6 stock screwdriver like this one. Now while unscrewing you should be careful not to cause any damage to the cover or the platter because the platter is located just beneath the cover. You might need a bit of research to locate all the screws on your cover because some of the screws are usually hidden underneath the label. An easier way would be to remove the label and reveal all the screws but this would leave you with a sticky shabby looking disk at the end of the day. But if you don't mind the aesthetic damage, then you could simply remove the label to reveal all the screws or you can carefully trace the hidden screws from the top of the label and unscrew them. Now speaking of the possible causes of this problem, there are several likely reasons why this would happen. The most common one is static friction effect. This phenomenon is called stiction, which is basically when the disc head gets stuck to the platter as it tries to return to the landing zone. The chances of this incidence is usually higher for systems that run non-stop, like servers. So if they eventually get shut down, the driver head could be fairly hot, hence rapid cooling effect could cause it to stick to the platter, making it difficult for the spindle motor to spin it up when next is turned on. So here we have it. As you can see, the disc head is right on the platter, whereas it's supposed to be docked on this orange colored mechanism, which is the landing zone. So now we need to manually get it off the platter and to do that we'll be using the same torque screwdriver and locate a screw right in the middle of the platter. Now by turning this screw clockwise, it should spin the platter and gently push the disc head to the landing zone. Once that is done, carefully cover the disc and return all the screws. Now connect your hard drive to your PC and see if it works again. Hmm, luckily we have it running again. As you can see, from here we can access all files on the disk. If your hard disk was removed from a laptop like this one, then you should try to locate your user account. Sometimes it requires admin privileges and might also take some time before it opens. But when it eventually opens, then you can access all your files and data. If you intend to continue using a disk like this, then it's important that you back up all your files and folders as this could be a sign that your disk is already degenerated and could fail at any time. And that completes the session. If you have any questions regarding the procedures in this video, please post in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. And if you like tech related videos like this one, then consider subscribing to my channel and turning on notifications for updates on future videos. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.